he comes on top. Wait, wait, is this like where is she laying? Where is she facing? Her like the, the whole the, the donut back. in the in the seat of the chair. Okay, okay. So she's just like. Wait, wait, wait. Think, 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 think massage chairs, but in the car. Exactly. Hey, yo, what's up? I like chemistry. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of No Filter in Paradise, Aruba's favorite podcast, and that's on what? Periodico. I actually hit it Ow. this time. What? Like, my voice actually went like, I thought I was going to be like, ah. you made it. <laughs> you know, fuck. You did like, something. I'm proud of you. Someone's going to clip that part and put it somewhere. Anyways, guys, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of No Filter. Um, Today, we're just chilling here in the studio. Oh, wait. Before we uh, continue with the show, guys, uh, real quick, make sure you get your Heineken Silvers, all right? And also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're currently, uh, we, we already passed 1,000 subscribers, so we're very happy with that. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Make sure to follow us on Spotify because we're available on Spotify and Apple uh, Podcasts. So make sure you guys follow us there. And if you want and if you love us, please, we we'll appreciate it if you can leave a review. Just not even a review, just a five star. <laughs> Don't write shit, because I, I don't even leave reviews anyway. Yeah, nobody leaves reviews. Just put five stars Just put and stuff. Five made. stars. That's it. That's all we asked for. Um, like always, guys, every single week we give away um, a six pack of Heineken Silver and also a three pack of Desperados. All you gotta do is leave a comment. Comment whatever you want. We don't care. Just comment something. We love you guys. Uh last week's winner goes out to Quintessa Cruz and Andy Eckmeyer. Quintessa? You, Quint Quintessa. I think you said that was so bad, but it's okay. How am I supposed to say it then? I don't know, but I don't think it's that. Hi, Quintessa. I, well, if I said it wrong, then I'm sorry because I... I no, I'm I, just saying, I don't know. I just want to have fun you. with it. <laughs> I mean, I'm known for butching names anyway, yeah. so... Um, yeah, Quintessa Cruz and Andy Eckmeyer. Eckmeyer, yeah. Andy! You know him? I love Andy. Yeah. That's my boy. He's been, he's, been, he's been watching every episode. He liked the Steve Andreas episode a lot. Shout out to Tribal Kush. He, they watched the Steve Andreas episode. Of course. They commented, Gordito I Blanquito. I love my voice. I was talking to um, Gordito today about going to Holland. And he's like, he offered us, if we need a place to record, we can use uh, his spot to record if nice. we're in Amsterdam. So now we got... We got uh we got we got more locations yeah, than we, we got, got guests. So so far, guys, we're, <laughs> up until now, um, the we're coming to Holland. If everything goes well, uh, the last week of August and the first week of September, that's where we're aiming right now. We got two locations where we can record. One in Amsterdam. Shout out to Tribal Kush, and we got a new one which is in Den Haag. Shout out <laughs> to DJ Chucky. Yeah. He hooked it up. And and speaking of Chucky, guys, next week. We, it's like a long fucking like ad, ad this is, this, you're just going and going <laughs> I'm like bro put an end to this anyways guys next week uh, episode we got DJ Chucky um, and it was a good one we got some exclusive shit some nice Faux stories show. Faux show. learn how you made a million dollars crazy in one day it's fucking ridiculous <laughs> celebrate two new years <laughs> <laughs> fuck the algorithm what, what, what did you, wait let's talk about, let's talk about Chucky, Chucky a little bit what did you think about the episode like what was I, your I love it. Like to me, he had like a lot of mindset, like the way I think, mm -hmm. like the way I, like things that I read and like books and stuff like that is what is the way he's living. So I was like very inspiring to yeah. see and like refreshing that. Okay. You know what? Like look at our own people. Like they've, they, they're making it. Yeah. Like they're in these rooms that we don't even imagine to be in. So it's like refreshing. Like, okay, keep on going. Like your drive is just, it just kicks back yeah. in like, okay, keep going. So. You know, it's it's kind of cool as well that we learn how how he got started and how it shows that when you have a support system behind you, like we talked about his how his mom was super supportive. Yeah. And you started realizing in certain patterns, like even with Steve Andreas episode, you start realizing like you need to have a supportive family behind you and you know, you you can get far. If you basically saying like surround yourself with people who are gonna push you forward and not bring you back. And no, I was And I, keeping it real. Hundred percent. That was a fucking great episode. Stories with Jamie Foxx. The stories were crazy. Who else? Uh, Beyonce, Jay, meeting Jay-Z. Like, nah. everything was crazy. Like, the whole thing is just fucking crazy. Nah. Fuck that dude. 
Fuck you, okay? <laughs> we're a little bit, no, we're not jealous, but. <laughs> no, definitely not but jealous. We're, we're like, definitely motivating. I'm like, okay, I, we need I to get definitely to definitely got to, like, I felt like I was there on the plane with them. I'm sorry. Like, I, I was be, just there, like, watching yeah. everybody, like. <laughs> I want to be with that Boeing 747 with all the artists. Like flying. Leonardo DiCaprio. Like what? Guys. Not in the plane with Titanic himself. <laughs> I, that would have been, I would have been scared. But like, <laughs> like what the fuck? I would have been like, I would have asked him. I'm like, like, how you feel like fuck Rose? Like, right? <laughs> like, I would have asked him like in the plane, like fuck Rose. Or, fuck really? that bitch. Have you ever seen the Titanic? What? That is classic. I can't believe people that tell me they've never seen Titanic. I, um, yeah. You need to get punched what? in the face. Oh my God. Guys, we currently have somebody in the room whose name no, you won't mention. No, I want to beat you up. You really haven't seen it? You've never. What? No. You're lying. Oh. I'm serious. How not? That is crazy. I've started, but never finished. Oh my God. Did you see the sex scene at least? Wait, what? Titanic sex scene. The car with the. Yeah. Oh. God. I'm not even gonna lie. Whenever I see, anyway, no, I'm going. talk about it. Talk no, about no, no, no. it. Explore your fantasies. No, no, no. Let's it's go. Not, it's not exploring a fantasy that already you happened. You want to be Jack? Saying, oh, no, I was oh Jack. I mean, sorry, at, at you wanted point, to be Rose. It's not like, like yo, just fucking put the windows up. It's hot. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. Make a sweat. Hey, back in my singer frog days. I hate car sex though. I don't like that. I don't like that. No. That, like not how like, many times have you had car sex though? Oh, numerous times. I don't like the wet ones. Like, what do you mean? Well, like, like the steamy ones. Sweaty. Oh, like people just like, like this. Feel like they just dr drip it. Like and this boy is just like <sighs> like <sighs> what are you trying to be? What happened to you, boy? <laughs> no, nah, come on. Okay, wait, wait. I'll let's talk about it. this. Let's talk about this. Okay, before we, I say this, guys, we're not gonna even sure where this conversation is gonna go. So we're just like rolling with the punches here, but. When you have car sex, like what's like, what what, what kind of positions are you in? Like what, what, <laughs> like what are the comfortable positions? There's a lot. Like I mean, there's a few. I'll say a few. But I want to hear you guys first, because apparently our third host, Mister Invisible, over here, uh, <laughs> he's in it. I'm too tall for car sex. No way. Actually, that sucks. Dude, you're never too tall. I'm too tall for car sex. Boy, yeah. bye. Plain uncomfortable. Then, then no. buy a fucking limo or SUV. No, you just get out. Not even SUV. Get out of the car. Open a door. I mean that too, but like still, like there's car sex for a reason. Like mm -hmm. it's for the quad. <laughs> like hello. It's like a little experience, you know. Like you would just have to like lean the 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 the. the, the, the I get you. But my legs, they is tall, they is long. Okay, so listen, what you finna do? Okay, so you lean the, the, the whole expert, chair back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had tall guys. That's why I know what we do. Okay, <laughs> taller than him. Yes. Okay, okay, so you lean the whole Our, chair backwards. Car sex dips with shark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then like the hand trim, you have to put that down, yeah. so oh, the car might be able to. You don't want to accidentally get something in your eye. Yeah. What? I mean, no, because his his leg is gonna have to go over one of them, so it's gonna go by the one leg is gonna be over by the driver's side, so close by the brakes, and the other one is on the passenger side where his entire body is laying on the fully reclined chair, and all she gotta do is just get on top and. You gotta ride it like a cowgirl. <laughs> Don't give me money. Yes, it works. But you have to I just look like at them down. No, I feel like that's uncomfortable. Hell no. That's like being what, what? What I do is I go in the back seat. You're not then, tall. Okay. We're talking about this is a okay, tip tall, for the tall, tall guys. Tall, tall. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot that part. Calm down, <laughs> baby. Calm down. You think that's all we? Do? Uh, hell no. In really? the car, you can do aerobics, baby. Okay, I don't know what he can do, but. Uh, <laughs> Well, I mean, we do. We get down uh, to the gritty down. God. I hate it. What? Doesn't mean I didn't do it. But like, I hate okay, it. It's, it's plain uncomfortable. Do you want to no. walk us through your experience, or no, do you want to skip plain it? Plain uncomfortable. Okay, good. Let me want to keep it there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, just putting it out there. Car sex. Hey, let's walk hey, hey, Welcome to my life now. You can't really say things a lot anymore. You can get away with it. Shut up. <laughs> you're so sorry stupid. if you're watching, but here's some really weird stories. I just want you to know, as my this is the old me, the new me is the new me. That sounds so guilty. Like, why would you say that? Hashtag new Samuel. Hashtag new Yeah, Samuel. like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, no, okay. but like, no, I'm, um, no, what I would do is this, I would usually put the, the front, both front seats, like, all the way to the front and then move the car seat to make a lot of space in the back yeah. where you can, like, fucking move around. Bad story, like, take it. Okay, move the car seat. <laughs> okay. Don't be taking notes, okay? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I don't want to get into details, but let's let's talk about 
How the fuck do you not want to get into details? You're the one that started it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mr. Detail. The fuck? Mm. Who does that? No, I make, I make, I, what I do, I just, I just push the seats forwards. On the Holland Land, like, Mozalande, uh, make them to the front so I can make a lot of backspace. And then I just start doing my thing. Like, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's, you can, there's, you can, there's a lot <laughs> you can do there. That's for sure. No, for real. It's for real. <laughs> Okay, but you do. You already have like the first ones. Okay, so you have like if we're talking front seat, yeah, fully reclined that, yeah, again. That, that's like uncomfortable for H- for who? I feel like there's not a lot of space to play around. Like you're only like stuck in one position. It could be uncomfortable for somebody. Oh, for who? This is the point of sex. You're supposed to, it's contact. Be right there. Like go crazy. Like God damn it. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <gasps> I, y'all are crazy. Reels content. <laughs> Guys, I don't even know how I'm going to edit this. <laughs> y'all are crazy. I'm telling y'all. So, like, look. Okay, so, if she, she if she, you, you lean the, the passenger seat all the way down, she, like, lays down, like, on her stomach. Yeah. He comes on top. Wait, wait. Is this, like, where is she, la- where is she facing? Her, like, the, the whole, the, the donut in the, in the seat of the chair. Okay, okay. So, she's just like... <laughs> Hey, baby. Think, 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 think massage chairs, but in the car. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, and then God. she just likes to hold on to, to like the, 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 the shoulders of the the, the, the car. Yeah, yeah. And then so she's, she's looking at the front side of the car. No, no outside the back. The back. Oh, the back. Okay, the back yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah. That's what she's seeing, and he's looking at the back too. His head is right here, so now he's sucking on the neck and like, hey, what, are you, what are you doing? Hey. <laughs> You just go crazy. I'm telling you. Jesus Okay. Christ. And then you have, she can ride. So one leg from her will go on, on the driver's side. And then she just like ride that shit right here. Ah. Okay. And then he's like laying down. And then y'all can switch. Um, okay. Yeah. There's, yeah. That's for blowjobs. That that's, doesn't count. <laughs> this is an interesting episode. Bro, no, I, for real. We just right off the bat, like, yo, car sex, let's go. <laughs> right off the I'm bat. I'm sorry, guys. No, it's okay. It's okay. Continue. Because some people might learn. Remember. No, that's. Entertainment, education, Ew. inspiration. Per. That's what, that's what. Remember the first episode we had with Michael Fowler? I inspire y'all not to do it in public because like the police, they be stopping yeah, you. Yeah, have you been caught? <gasps> I've been caught that, before. Oh my that, God. That's so. why you don't ride with aquariums. Wait, what? Tint your glasses. Mm-mm. Not even Tinder, bro. They, they show don't up. care. They show you think, up. You think you can fucking get, get dressed within like 10 seconds when they pull up right behind yeah, you? Yeah, they just pull up with the light and then they come out and with a flashlight. <gasps> oh fuck. my God, I almost died. No, I almost died. No, no. I got caught once, bro. Never again. <laughs> Never again. I, I mean, but where are y'all doing it? In public, I, I feel like I feel like we all. I feel like we all have like our our, our spots. There, yeah, there used to be one in uh, in Pontong. Don't, don't mention them. Don't mention no, no, them. I'll say like. I don't use my spots what anymore because it's invaded by drug dealers apparently oh now. So. <laughs> hey, I know y'all busy, but y'all want some weed or cocaine? Yeah, no, nothing? not like that. But like, there's some mafia shit going on back there. You so don't like, I don't fuck with that. Yeah. I don't go anywhere. But we there's like a uh, there used to be like a um a small field in the back by my house. It's called like like an airplane field. I don't know how you how you how they call it. It's in the back by half, in like all the oh, way in, in like in the, the remote control airplane. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I have an idea where it is. Yeah. So yeah, that's your spot. That used to be my spot. So mm, I can't say it, but okay, I can say it. I don't go <laughs> yeah, there. You, so we used to there. like lift the buoy, go <laughs> go in, put it back down, and then park. <laughs> Get done. Wicked, 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 lift wicked. it up. Pe- Imagine get, a car get with massive suspensions. That, that's wicked, a whole wicked. lot of work for Dick. Oh, okay. I mean, look, I never used to do it. Okay, the guy used to just be ready. He used to be like, open it. I was like, eh, drive it. <laughs> drive the fuck out. You swear I live in a mansion. You, you go with two cars? You, uh, yeah, no, take- yeah, we meet each other. Who, you go in my car? No, not she. Mm-mm. That was it. I used, to have, I used to have a spot when I used to live back in Ponton. I used to have a spot near my house. It's like by um, Everybody Hato. There is a there is a building next to it a, across from this like snack place, right behind it is like trees and then a building. A big field. Huh? Now it's empty. It's ne- a big empty field. I n- no. Yeah. No, no. It's, I, it's well, next to the new road, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it, so it was like it was like very. If you go all the way in, it's very narrow and dark. So if you turn off all, plus my car is dark. So if I turn off the lights, you see nothing. So it's just a dark car. That, that was my spot. Always. It's like, hey, hey, va, va, pasa buscar agua. Let's go, hey. Drop off, hey, topa. 
This is, the, this is the best ones. A little fuck boy. <laughs> I mean, I used to be, you know. And then, wait, so how did the cops catch you? This was um, at fucking near Fisherman's Hut area. Okay. I know, I know. I was working. No, I was. I was working. You're asking. I know, but I was working. I was working back then at Singer Fries. It was a tour. It's like, yo, real quick. I told my boss, hey, listen, bro, I need 20 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, go. I went real quick. From Singer Fries all the way there? Singer Fries when you used to be in Palm Beach. It's like two minutes away. It was literally across Gusto. That's where Singer Fries used to be. Exactly. You went all the way to Fisherman's Hut? Like a little bit before. You know the Marriott? Like That's, lo- that's far. <laughs> where, where else am I going to go? I'm thinking about like six, seven years ago, huh? There's so many beaches right back there. You think I'm going to... Nah. I just, Bali. Nah. Like that's what I'm trying to say. Like you went all the way over there? You know where the tower is? <laughs> like... Over Bali? The bird sanctuary. Uh, the Molin, bird watch yeah. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Molin, the yeah, tower. Yeah. It's almost this. Oh wait, you're right. It's not almost the same. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's, there's like at a, that time, there's I didn't like think, think about it, bro. <laughs> Samuel, I just know, I just know, I know a spot. Let's go there real quick. Samuel, there's like a thin road. Your car barely I, passes through. It's pitch black. It's seems like you're speaking from experience. No, of course, I'm just saying. everybody speaks from experience. <laughs> no, but that's how I got caught. Like they literally, literally fucking I'm pulled out. up behind me. <laughs> He's like, I'm done talking. I'm done. <laughs> Incriminating, no, incriminating I, myself. I think, I think you're done talking on this topic. When we move on to the next topic, you can jump back in. That's how I got caught. And then ever since then, I never went back to that spot. But I've never gotten, at least when I, when I was in Pontong area, there's nobody, no fucking cop, nobody's going to drive by. Or if, even if you do drive by, it's like, you, you, will, you really have to be like, there's something there. <laughs> I'm not sure. Something's like moving. Like, when I lose, hold it. <laughs> uh, but I got caught never again. You've you been caught? I've been caught numerous How? times. Tell, tell us the story. Oh, no. Like, it's crazy. It's some crazy shit. No. Have you been caught at um at the baseball field? <laughs> <laughs> you knew this question was going to come, huh? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's a real baseball player. Love. Why do you think... During the hot, we had a Hot Shots episode like about a year ago, and we made a, a Hot Shots jersey for him, mm-hmm. and it says Dugout. Tw- 27, <laughs> guys, 27 of July is his birthday, uh-huh. and then we put Dugout because <laughs> Shark used to take his men in the, into the dugouts of a certain <laughs> baseball field, which I won't mention. That was like, that was his, that's like how I have my spot in Pontong. I dugout. mean, it was easy. It was like, a, it was like close to home. Okay, you want to play, you want to play ball? No, like that. let's go to the dugout. Does we just walk in distance? It was like right there. Like the fuck? <laughs> Dugo. You know how many people have have sex by the field? Like it's crazy. I don't know. It's so normal. Those like the field has so many. Like it be having <laughs> no games on, no nada, and the field be having like four or five cars that park there. What y'all watching? Netflix? What about Tanki? Bah. Do you even still go to Tanki? Like one I have no idea. I went once and People, somebody caught you. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Quick commercial break, guys. <laughs> Let me know when you're done. I went to thank you once. My God, did I want to start? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I felt but so like, bad. Like, walk me through it. Like, what do you mean? Like, you were trying to leave or you got there or? Okay, so we were there. Me and the guy were chilling. And, like, we started, like, trying to do the nasty. And a car came. So he was like, yo, let's go. <laughs> That's when you want to bounce. When somebody shows up, hey, yo, we Yeah, go. so we were like, okay, let's go. So I was like, okay. But those days, I it was my own fault. Because I knew my battery wasn't, like. <laughs> shing, shing. Yeah, the shing, shing. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to give, you know? So I still went ahead and like I left like the, the radio on so we can like listen to music. So like I didn't turn the car all the way off. I just left it like, you know, like, eh. you know, if it's so, on, it's on jerk. But not like not like with the, the all the red lights and all yeah, them coming yeah, yeah. on. Not like that. Like just regular. Like the radio, the, only the radio is still active. The windows can't do nothing. Nada. Mm-hmm. So that's how we chill in. So I'm like, OK, fine. He's like, let's go. I'm like, OK. <laughs> I, was like, I was like fuck it don't tell me were you embarrassed right. Sam I wanted to fucking die the guy just <laughs> the guy just turned he watched me he was like 
Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> he said, nah. Is your car an automatic? Yeah. Are you fucked? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. That's exactly what I was like. Oh my God. <laughs> I, tr I kept trying to start the thing. I was like, ugh. And mind you, this happened to me like a few days before this already at Stephanie's house. <laughs> so, so you knew this might happen again. I, I, I kind of was like, like kinda maybe knew. I should check it if, if you know, <laughs> hey, I have a dick appointment. Maybe I should check if my car is going to start. It was starting. So I, I, already <laughs> call, I already called like the insurance people and all that. So I already knew that. Like, oh, okay. I thought the, you meant you called the insurance. Oh, no, no, I already know like what the process is. Like the number is still fresh, like in my call <laughs> log. So I was like watching the guy. I was like, I'm going to walk to the pass. He's like, yeah, my insurance. I was like, let me walk. Give me thing. Stay I started day. like looking in the thing. I was like, why are you taking so fucking long, bitch? It's right there. <laughs> I kept looking for my baby. And I was like, oh, let me just try to call. So I just started calling. I was like, like. Can y'all help me? I'm at the tanky. They started laughing. I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so Yo, embarrassed. Yo, Loki, that's a little bit embarrassing. It's crazy. Yo, you're like, you go there for, you go there to fuck and then like, hey, seguro. Um, it was so I'm embarrassing. I'm here to wash the lights and my car won't start. Uh, can y'all come fix? It was Bro, so it's embarrassing. Like, it's like a walk of shame situation. So the guy, the people pull up from the, the, the things to, so they can like turn on the car. <laughs> this guy walks away from a car and he goes like all around. <laughs> Hide somewhere. To... Yeah. <laughs> I would I, I would probably do the same if I wasn't in his I situation. I was just there. I was like so embarrassed. And the guy from the guy was like, you know you know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm with friends. I thank God he didn't ask. I was like, <laughs> just help me here. He started the car and then I was like, okay, thank you. He was like, but I was like, no shit. <laughs> I think I kind of figured that fuck that shit out right now. Okay. <laughs> he was like, just keep the car running for an hour. And then I was like, I don't think I have an hour gasoline. <laughs> pero. We'll see the Back best I can do with this. Those struggle days. Yeah. Those were the fucking struggle. Well, I mean, no, no. I think you, I was working. At the, you were already working at the Ritz, right? I think I still was. I can't remember, but it was embarrassing as fuck. Jesus. I don't think I've ever had that situation. No, I, I had some crazy shit. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Why would you ask me that? Then I just fucking tell you one. Like, I, I mean, feel like oh, I'm okay, exhausted. Okay, okay. Like, I mean, fuck? <laughs> shit. I mean, I feel, I feel like that's like that. Have No. Sometimes like before the qu I, the question in my head is about to come out of my mouth. And I, I, wait, wait, wait. Is this really a good idea to ask this? It's recorded. <laughs> I, have you ever vomited on somebody's dick while sucking his dick? It's normal. What? <clears throat> but you don't like... One, that is not normal. Nick, it's called a deep throat. Okay, shut the fuck up. Yes. It is. Trust me, that is not normal. Or at least not in my case. I mean, I guess you got, you got oh. a good gag reflex, girl. Okay. <laughs> yes, girl. Do your big one. She got a gag reflex. I'm never going to choke. Okay, Akbar V. <laughs> Up for S. So I gotta think twice when I speak. You know? I mean, look, you said it. Okay, I guess I gotta work on my gag reflex. You got tips Shout for me? Shout out to Aquafina for sponsoring this show. <laughs> <laughs> you got tips for me? Uh, let me know, girl. Oh my lord! So, you said it. Okay, because you sound like you're a professional dick sucker. Like at this point, like you better than me. <laughs> Shit. The fuck? This, this, I feel like this episode's gonna come clap back at me at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna get certain people like texting like, "Why are you talking about this on the damn show? Who the fuck is calling me?" <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh God, that's my boy. Oh, okay. Do you want to answer him? No, no, no. Fuck oh, okay. him. No, I actually am. I just answered. No way. Oh wow, guys. No, sorry. Guys. Hey guys, real quick. Hey, I can't hear you guys, but uh, we're currently recording. Hi. It's my fucking. It's my friend out. Hey. I'm recording. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay. Fuck me. I don't want to go to Gusto. Damn it. I guess you are. No, I'll follow. I'm going to the fucking movies. <laughs> Aw, I had popcorn today. Yeah, what? Popcorn? Super cute. Awesome. Guys, before we continue, um, there's something we need to address real quick. Um, we're changing the day of releasing episodes. So you're, you're currently watching this on Wednesday. Um, starting next week, the Chucky episode, we're going to start releasing every Thursday. Right? Right? 
Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what you say. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're already you're said looking it. at me like, wait, what? You just said we discussed it. You need me to back you up and answer no, again. 100%. 100%. No, but like, um, yeah, so we're going to start a uh, so few reasons, but not important. Um, it's just easier for us to re uh, release new episodes every single Thursday. So now you know. <laughs> Moving the fuck on. So, anyways, so I was scrolling through Facebook today. This is, guys, this is a very left turn to forward, from car sex to a very serious kind of topic. Um, why are you looking at me like that? I mean, you want to talk about something serious right now? <laughs> what else do you want to talk about then? I mean, I'm not I'm not saying, okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no go ahead. If you no, have, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not like that. No. You have something else you want to add to this conversation? No, I'm just saying, like, you said, like, there was a time frame. Yeah, That's there right. is, there is. Guys, it's going to be a short episode. Okay, well, go ahead with the serious. No, it's actually a question, and it is something um, I kind of like. Wait, I, let me just take my laugh off. <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> hey, big shout out to Heineken Silver. We love you guys very much. Thank you for supporting the show <gasps> since day one. <laughs> sorry, just to take that out. I'm sorry. Okay, mm. go ahead. You done? I'm I'm done. A thousand percent? Yes. I'm right, gonna cool. take it serious. So this motherfucker right here. So uh Freddy Rasta. Sorry, come on. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. I, I yeah, we, we're going from a sex conversation. From my to, angle, he looks like he's almost crying. I, he is. Look at take off your glasses. Fucking show those <laughs> tears. I'm sorry, it's just he laughed. That's why. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. No, you're not. It's still in there. I know. No, I'm dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anyways. stop. Like no, so real. like, uh, Rich Freddie Richardson <coughs> Rasta. He was. He said on Facebook, um, "Laugh walk nos artista local kuta kutin kustrago pa ayuda pa ayudo of sponsor y nos mucho nang den spark kuta para den solo horas tras de horas pa ayuda." Basically, this fucking kids that stand on the side of the street every single day. Have you ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Like you see them on uh, LG Street Boulevard. You always see them over here in Nord. Um, so what do you think about that? I mean... I think it's kind of fucked up. Like what happened? Like this goes <laughs> back to like when I, we had an episode one time, I think with, um, with Michael, when we talked about when I mentioned like, why doesn't the government help out with like, Esports or helping people go out abroad, you know, helping people that want to grow in certain sports or whatever. And you got to see all these fucking taekwondo kids on the side of the streets collecting money. Okay, so this is this is my thing. I don't think per se it's all the way the government's fault. I mean, I mean, there are so many things that the government has to pay and they have to deal with and all that. I understand. I know they have like money that they can allocate to like different things, but and however. <clears throat> Here you go. That was the laughs. I'm sorry. They were like <laughs> you laughing about the kids. No, I'm not. Yeah. Okay, but and however, I feel like when it comes to sports and stuff like that, why do we lean towards the government when I mean they? Ha of course, they have a part to play in it, and I feel like they should play their part. Lo de pa deporte. They, that's why they should play their part. But this, there are so many companies that make so much money on this island. Why aren't they they sponsoring in these type of things? Why aren't they some some of their money is getting allocated to these type of things? But when it comes to like carnival and queen election and all these type of things, we see the biggest names for sponsors. Where are they during the year for these sports activities? And like I feel like from a business standpoint, they think about like, okay, if I if I want to invest, they see it as like, okay, if I'm if I go to like carnival, right? Everybody's watching TV. It's people are eyeballs watching. So like, they care about brand exposure. Yeah, if you go if you go sponsor these fucking like these kids, like for them, they, what's the return? Yeah, you know, great, you're winning out. But like, how did my business grow? It's a tax refund. It's a what? Tax refund, regardless. But yeah. The problem is, you don't matter until you win something big. Or become relevant. That's enough. the problem. Yes and no. Look, great example, Sara Quinta. Government and actually, and she's brought this up before. Like in the past 
that the government has never helped her with almost nothing with everything she's done. Like what, 15, 17 world champion? And I'm pretty sure, actually, I'm going to see if she wants to come on the show and talk about it. Because I think like people want to help, you know, they want to help bigger artists because they're bigger out there. But then there's people who have this sport talent and like, hey, can you just help me pay my ticket to go here and so I can compete? That's, that's all I ask for. Like, no, they have to pay for them themselves by doing car washes, doing fucking Rifa Cominda or Rifa Bingo, whatever the fuck they got to do. But I mean, I, th I guess Sara Quinta is a really good example. I uh, think it's a community thing. What do you mean? I think, I think honestly, it's a community thing. If you care that much, if you, if you, like everybody claims that they love the island so much, like, oh my God, Miss Tima Aruba, just Ashutimar, Aruba, Tami Isla. They love it, okay? If you love your island so much, you should probably care about your people. Why do you care what your return of investment is gonna be about helping kids in need get off of the streets yeah. versus. You just wanted to be like, oh, okay, nah, I'm going to just support this one because this one, a lot of people are going to see it and I, I get brand awareness and then yada, yada, yada. If you really cared, that, that what does question. it cost you to allocate a little that bit of your money to some type of one of these sports or to some type of thing for your community? I think some people have the, like that fuck you money. Like, yo, yeah, here's 10,000 florins. So many people by. have that fuck you money. You, so, much, so many of us even bad spend our, our monies that... There are so many things that we purchase that we don't really need that much that as a community, we could have invested that money into something that could give better to one of these kids. If each of us, that we, if you know everybody, they put one floor in for you. So many things you can purchase for these kids. Yeah, I'm just saying. It's a community thing. I mean, We're all to blame. Yeah. Imagine if like a thousand, 10,000 cars drive by in a week. And they all give one florin. That's dude, what's what, what's one florin to you or to you or to me? That's ten thousand florins, and these kids can go do whatever they want. Do you ever give like money? I always do. If I have like, as, especially yeah. I, I don't. I used I, to hate whenever, loose whenever change, I have whatever the coins, I do. Like, like, I always give them. Got, like take most of my coins. When I used to work at like at Ritz, then I used to always have tips. So yeah, 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 yeah. No, I always have like some florin um, coins just sitting in my cup holder. Oh, that, that was something like I was. I just randomly saw my face. But like, at the same time, also, sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. I also feel like it does. Like you can watch it in one way, but I feel like those are the things that also teach you discipline, especially for like the type of program that some of these kids are in. When you learn to have to work for your stuff, you appreciate certain things yeah. even more than if you just have to like get them. And a lot of the times these spoiled brats that get like <laughs> these things get sponsored hand, hand constantly, Here you go, thank you. they don't give a shit. And that's why a lot of the times it's like with these things, a lot of the people, they steal a lot of money from these kids. That, I, these I've, organizations I've and that. all that, they steal so I've many money from these kids. Let me call you shameful in Palm. All right, here you go, guys. I only made 200 florins, but I actually made so, 300. <clears throat> I used to be a kickboxer. Okay. Okay. And like a year after I quit, I found out that some of the fights were paid for, but you never get the money. Mm -hmm. hey, what do you mean paid for? Like, what do you mean? So you could have won prize money. But they never but told you like... You, they never tell you there's money involved. It wasn't my fights, but I found out of my other... That's wild, that's you know, called, like, like it's like uh, greed and like... And that's how it goes. Like nowadays you just can't... Once things like this happen... And then just trickles down like I can. You can never trust a person anymore. It's kind of fucked up though. Like, I mean, hella you, fucked you up. You pay your membership, everything for the group. to be part part of the class. Yes. Yeah. And still, when the money is being won, I mean, I've never been in that situation, but I've heard of other fighters that have been in that situation. It's a lot. It's where a the lot. Just never tell them. They'll, <laughs> they'll say like, "Oh yeah, you're fighting for two hundred, but actually you're fighting for a thousand. You yeah. understand? Here's like 200 florins. Thank you. 50 but, you'll get from that 200 because yeah, they yeah, have to yeah. pay like the gym fee and the coach and the this and the that. That's and that's just for that. Where there's like, not, it's like, this happens in baseball. This happens in like so many sports. And that's why a lot of people don't even give a fuck anymore. They don't even like yeah. care to bother. I mean, that was, that was, that was their whole scandal with um, one of the ministers because apparently he was like stealing or not stealing. Oh, like, allegedly. <laughs> I just want to say that. Oh, the yeah, the, that's uh, what they were saying. Yeah, I think he's part of Map or some shit. I don't know. One of the one of those people like from Map, and he got the same the same wallet again. Or he some got shit yeah. Like he was he was robbing from the wallet, doing something else with the money instead of putting in sports, and then he got elected again for the same fucking position. I'm like, bro, there's documents of him 
But I, remember, Evelyn was on, on No Filter, right? Remember I asked her about it. And she was like, until nobody gets convicted for the crime. So basically she's saying like, well, there you but go. But she said that on No Filter. Yeah. I asked her about it. I was like, hey, like, why did y'all give Andy Cruz the same thing again yeah. if he already did the thing wrong, if that's what the, the streets are claiming? Yeah. And she was like, look, him, Nordangi, got arrested for, or got claimed into whatever the, the people were claiming that they did wrong. So- until then, she just has to trust them and continue. I mean, will they ever though? I mean, why not? Then why not ask? Okay, cool, oh, it then. was not not Dangi. It was Rocco Chong. That's yeah, what yeah, I asked yeah, her about yeah. those two. Because now, 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 I started thinking. Okay, cool. Then if you think he hasn't been proven guilty, then can you show documents to prove that no, this actually <laughs> he's <laughs> not where the money went. Yeah, here's the money. Oh, you can't show me that either. Just like that contract for Eagle, whatever the fuck they're doing. Nobody has seen that contract that the government made with some company in the states. For uh, um, like gas, gas or some shit. I don't know, but apparently, apparently, they, made, they made a whole deal with some company in the states, and nobody has seen the contract. Only Aveline, a lawyer, and one more person, but the rest, nobody else knows what the fuck is written. And, it's, and Aruba's tied to it for like twenty years. Oh shit! Yeah. Anyways, can't really trust the government. So we went from car sex to politics. <laughs> we nice. went from we went from car sex to blow to kid no to kids on the streets to politics. Now we're going to round it off back. Guys, next week we got Chucky episode. Make sure you watch it because we're about to end this episode right now because I don't know what the fuck is happening with this conversation. I got one for Shark. Go for shark it. Shark spit or swallow? Oh my. It Guys, depends I don't, who it I is. Don't, is it true like if, like if they eat pineapple, <laughs> it's like tastier? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't like it in general. I just don't care for it. You just do it because it's satisfaction. It depends who it is, yeah. But you just do it for the for the for the person. Yeah, like, I guess guys feel a type of way. Like it's like they just it's like oh wow like yeah macho nigga shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna end this here on that note. I think we came full circle with our conversation. Um, guys, don't forget next week uh, we start releasing on Thursday. We got DJ Chucky. Great conversation. A lot of exclusive stories. A lot of great stories from him. Um, yeah, make sure to subscribe. Like this video. Anything else you want to add? We Gucci babies. And mystery mystery uh, co-host, anything you want to add? No, we're good. You're good? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. Ow. <laughs> what the fuck?